Unquestionably, being a homeowner is an expression of pride and a dream come true. However, for the uber-rich of the world, owning a property comes with a price tag of several millions and an endless array of amenities. So today in this video, let's examine the world's most costly homes and be in awe of their lavish fittings and architectural designs. Number 10, the one, $141 million. This home is reported to be worth $141 million and is owned by Niall Niami in Los Angeles, California. The one, a luxuriously constructed residence in Bel Air, is twice the size of the White House. This estate has beautiful architecture with several kitchens, 21 lavish bedrooms, 42 exquisite baths, and parking for 30 cars. It is a wonderful place to live because it also has five swimming pools, a home gym, a salon, a bowling alley, a nightclub, and a theater. Number nine, Palazzo di Amore, $195 million. Palazzo di Amore is located in Beverly Hills and carries a prize tag of $195 million. Spread across an area of 53,000 square feet, it has 25 acres of active vineyard with six varieties of grapes. The mansion includes unique wine cellars that hold up to 3,000 bottles at once and a temperature-controlled section that can hold up to 10,000 bottles. The mansion contains 12 bedrooms, 25 bathrooms, a 24-car garage, a 15 square foot entertainment center with a bowling alley, and a state-of-the-art theater room with a capacity for 50 people. Number 8. Four Fairfield Pond, $250 million. This mansion is owned by Ira Rennert and is located in New York, USA. It carries a $250 million value. This 63-acre estate features 29 bedrooms, 39 bathrooms, a large dining room, and three swimming pools. In addition, the homeowners have access to two squash courts, a bowling alley, a theater, two tennis courts, and a basketball court. Number seven, the Odeon Tower Penthouse, $330 million. Although the Odeon Tower penthouse lacks a garden, it does have breathtaking views of Monaco. Located at the top of a 560-foot tower, this apartment is renowned for being the most costly apartment in the entire globe. The Odeon Tower penthouse offers a 360-degree infinity pool with a private water slide that overlooks the Mediterranean Sea's crystal clear waters for those who would prefer a salt-free swim. Spread over five stories with five kitchens on each, the opulent penthouse boasts a total size of 38,000 square feet. It includes several staff bedrooms, a luxurious bathroom, and a dance floor. The estimated cost of a parking place for the property is $330,000. Number six, Le Palais Boule, $390 million. Owned by Pierre Cardin, this lavish home is situated in Cannes, France. Due to its magnificent structure, this palace is also known as the Bubble Palace and is valued at $390 million. Constructed from a lightweight mesh, Le Palais Boule boasts a hypethral theater, multiple swimming pools, 10 opulent rooms, a panoramic lounge, and an alluring waterfall, all of which contribute to its unparalleled beauty. Moving on at number five, Villa Les Cedres, France, $413 million. Rinat Akhmetov is the owner of this lavish residence. Located in Saint-Jean-Cap-Ferrat, France, the price of this house is $413 million. The 18 square foot villa has a garden area of more than 35 acres. The exquisite designs of this lavish castle fit a king. It boasts a large swimming pool, numerous greenhouses, a stable, an amazing theater, multiple balconies, and 14 bedrooms. Number four, Wittenhurst Mansion, $450 million. This property in London, United Kingdom, is owned by Andre Guriev. With a total size of 90,000 square feet and a value of $450 million, the Wittenhurst residence is the second largest in London. Among its many features is a 70-foot-long ballroom that has served as a fantastic setting for films. The mansion is also stuffed with gorgeous timber wall panels and oak flooring, along with 65 opulent rooms, making it one of a kind. Number three. Villa Leopolda, $750 million. Villa Leopolda ranks third among the world's most expensive homes. The home is located in the Côte d'Azur region in the Alps Maritime Department of France. The villa is owned by Lily Safra. The name derives from King Leopold II of Belgium, who was the property's original owner. 
American architect Ogden Codman Jr. rebuilt it in the 1920s. Spreading over almost 50 acres, the property boasts 11 bedrooms, 14 bathrooms, a commercial greenhouse, a helipad, an outdoor kitchen, and 12 swimming pools. This mansion is believed to be worth $750 million. Next up, number two, Antilia, $2 billion. Antilia, a property in Mumbai, India, is the most expensive house in the world and ranks as one of the most luxurious residences in the world. The richest man in India, Mukesh Ambani, had it constructed for him. The 4000 square foot, 27-story house is located in the Kumbala Hill district of Mumbai. Because of its earthquake resistance, the structure is able to withstand earthquakes. Antilia has six floors set aside for parking for visitors and owners. There are also three helipads, a ballroom, an ice cream shop, a temple, and a 50-seat movie theater. The mansion employs almost 600 people. This house is expected to cost $2 billion. Last but not least on our list, here is dent number one, Buckingham Palace, $4.9 billion. Located in Westminster, London, Buckingham Palace is the most expensive property in the world. Having been the official residence of the UK monarchs in London since 1837, the palace is currently owned by the British royal family. The castle has 775 bedrooms, 78 bathrooms, 92 offices, 19 staterooms, and 52 royal and guest rooms. The palace has an area of nearly 828,000 square feet, and the garden alone covers 40 acres. If the palace ever goes up for sale, it would be the most expensive palace in the world, estimated to be worth $4.9 billion. Finally, these big mansions set a higher standard despite the fact that there are many large homes in the world. We are all fascinated by the comforts and luxuries that these mansions provide, even though many of us will never be able to buy one of the largest residences on the planet. They give us an insight into the lives of the extremely wealthy.